What I have for you today is, by all rights and privileges, not very special. Now, no, it's not this uh, L2D host, which is uh, a great, another great solar force host, but it is this emitter I got off of Amazon, and it's just a uh, Amazon XHP 50.2 cool white emitter. Now, I got it off Amazon, so it took like less than a week for it to get here. In fact, it, I think it only took a day or two. If I remember right, it may have taken a full two days, but not more than that. So this is just a plain drop-in, and it's a one mode, and it has a maximum of 12 or 9 volts, I think. I'm not even going to pull it out of here because it's, um, it's not worth doing. It's just a drop-in, and it's sitting on an aluminum shelf and not much else. Well, why do I want to make a video about this? Because this son of a gun will run at 1,385 lumens, excuse me, 1,325 lumens out the front for a solid hour. Pretty amazing. And the host will not even get that hot, which of course means that uh, the unit is absorbing most of the heat, which is ideally not a good sign. But it has no step down and it has no nothing to do. You just click it and you turn it on. Now I remember when the SST-50 was uh, making the rounds in 2010, I wanted one in a drop-in form and I would always ask, why can't we get one? And they said, it's because of heat issues. Well, apparently that's not the same here because this is much brighter and yet it doesn't suffer from it. So it can run steadily at 1,325 lumens for damn right over an hour and uh, put out great useful light which is uh, I find very useful because it's nice to have a good little flutter that is super useful so really bright uh, what you see here is similar to what I'm seeing in real life and that's a black screen and that's a lot of light so Just a good flutter with a little center area. And the head doesn't quickly get warm when you go to turn it on. Alrighty. Pretty impressive. Lights up the side of a house, fits in your hand. So it's been running about, I'd say, not quite 30 minutes here. And uh, not a change in output at all. It's not even warm. It's, it's, I mean, it's barely warm, but it's, it's really, uh, you know, this looks the same. It's 45 minutes now, still going. So this is really not a bad drop-in, this Anakim. Uh, I have no idea where Amazon gets it but or how it's they have it here in America for quick delivery, but it really is a good find. And when I first bought it, I popped it in and 
I didn't think I would ever like it. I didn't think, uh, I don't even know why I bought it. I didn't really need it. But I thought to myself, this actually might turn out to be, to have just a nice tactical flutter. And I ended up putting it in several different hosts, uh, Solar Force hosts. You know, sometimes the little values are some of the biggest. You get something with low expectations and you end up blown away because you find that you could you could do pretty well. So I'm gonna give this a rusty recommend uh, and fully recommend this. This is a great little drop in. It's good for police work or security work. It's good for lighting up a scene in an area and it's brighter than it appears. Whereas a thrower will look brighter than it is because of the beam density, the light density. This is a flutter and what it gives you, you can handle. So this is actually a good deal. Scoop you one up on Amazon and uh, enjoy a little bit of uh, a little bit of tactical flood.